Hey guys, today I want to give you guys an update on my accidents. So have you guys ever heard of the term diminished value or residual diminished value? But basically what that is, is that's the value of your car after an accident. And I've done a video on this, which I will have a link to that in the description below. In that video, I show you guys what my car is worth today with the two accidents that I have on my Carfax versus what it should be worth, you know, if you go to a dealership to trade it in. So here is what my car is worth per Kelly's Blue Book today. And that's, let's use the lower end of this. So it's $23,600. And then now let's look at Edmonds, and that's like 23,300. So let's just round it off and average the two together. And let's just say my car is worth $23,500 if I were to trade it in. So now let's look at what Carfax thinks my car is worth, taking into account the dirty car facts and my two accidents. $20,000. So with my two accidents, my car has taken a hit of over $3,000. Um, but before I do, I wanna throw something out there for you guys. So have you guys ever thought about getting a bumper sticker? I've never, I've never really given it much thought, but I did see one that I may put on my car if I ever did get one. And it states, if I'm passing you on the right, you're an idiot. And I just think that's classic. And it was posted on the upper left hand uh, portion of this person's vehicle. So if you guys wanna share um, some bumper stickers that you've seen that you just kind of laughed about and appreciated, Go ahead, throw them in the comments below. So with that, let's continue. So back to diminished values of your car. So my insurance company contacted me about three or four weeks ago about um, the diminished value of my vehicle because I, I contacted them a while back, said, hey, you know, guys, I got in a couple accidents. Uh, my lease is due up here shortly but it's really gonna financially impact me negatively because of these accidents. Do I have any recourse? Do I have any means to get that diminished value back? And fortunately, he came back to me with an update on that. So he said, basically, you have to do it on your own. It cannot be um, issued from another insurance company it has to be done third party. So basically what I have to do is I have to compile my facts and my case and submit it to that other insurance company. So basically I'm gonna take my car in for a trade-in value, um, get a formal write-up from them, and then what I'm going to do is compile a list of what my car's value would be on say Edmunds, KBB, um, Carfax, any one of those other car estimators and basically identify the claim that I want to make as far as diminished value. So then I have to submit it to the person who hit me's insurance. So I'm not overly hopeful that I'm going to get what I think is my diminished value on my car, but it does give me some hope that there's a chance that I that I can recoup some of that. So I just kind of wanted to, you know, give you guys a quick update on where I stand with my vehicle as far as, um, you know, the diminished value claim. And also, if you guys have been in an accident in your current car, I also want to let you guys know that that option may be available to you. So I know, like, a couple of you guys have had, um, you know, recent accidents. So maybe contact your insurance company and ask them about um, diminished value claims um, and things of that nature.
So I wanted to throw that out to you. And for the last little question, I wanted to ask you guys as an audience, if you guys are still here, and if you are, you guys are awesome. <clears throat> if you guys have anything that, any topics um, that you guys want me to cover, leave it in the comments below. Um, not that I'm running out of ideas of things I want to cover on my channel, but at the same time, I'm doing this for you guys as well as myself. So if there's anything that you guys want me to look into, research, um, anything at all, drop it in the comments below and um, I'll see what I can do to, to answer any questions you guys have in a future video. So with that guys, have a great weekend and I will talk to you guys soon. Take care.